we are rolling. Rolling in the deep. What are we talking about? Craig, I think um, this, I'm not sure if I'm right about this, but making music for mature audience. You know how they say hip hop is a young man's sport? Sure. And I was just getting to think about like, you know, sustainability, you know, making hip hop. Nah, um, it's it's actually interesting you say this. I saw an interview with Styles P, mm. and we were asking him that very same thing. Mm. Like, yo, uh, you know, rappers should stop at forty. Mm. Like, yo, you know, and he's like, what? What other genre of music do people stop at forty? No other genre are people required to oh, stop making point. music at after the age of forty. Yeah. Rock and roll. You got R&D. sixty year old men, bro, doing yeah. their thing. What well, Tina Turner died yeah, fucking making it. You know I mean? what I mean? So why? And hip hop is only fifty years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell a forty year old man to stop rapping. Come on, son. chill. Yeah, look, I mean, for me, the um, the mindset shift changed when we were at. Um, Street Crush mm-hmm. in the Netherlands. I met E, the Mad Assassin. Yeah. I was telling him, look, man, I feel like I'm getting old and I need to wind down. I can't do it. Dude, he was like 43 at the time. Sure. And I was like, damn, bro. And you're still pushing? He's like, yeah, bro. As long as your body's good, I mean, it's your passion. And the one thing he said that stuck with me is like, okay, what are you going to do when you stop? Exactly. What are you going to do, bro? Because this is it's in the blood, dog. Yeah. Like you, you, you didn't choose this. You do me. it for free. We are we are doing it for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, what is oh the reasoning days. to stop? Yeah. Um, so I think, man, it's in the mainstream side of things. It's a young man's game, mm. right? Um, you'll see now older guys like your Nas is there. Mm. They still working with the young niggas. Mm. Hit boy is not young, but he's not old, mm. you know. Um, and we need those voices because you can't be out here as a thirty-some-year-old listening to, uh, you know, Lil Yachi. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Um. So, yeah, we need older niggas in the game. The problem, I think, is also the the mainstream doesn't, you know, cater to that, the, that, that yeah, market. That's, exactly. the, that's the part where I think is the issue, is that there's no um, avenues where that kind of music is celebrated, mostly. Sure. Unless you somebody has, who already has a big fan base, and your name alone pulls a crowd. Yeah. There's no place for you to to stand out unless you're going to dumb down your music or dumb down your beats to cater to where you're going to be heard. And, and also there's a difference between you're making music for the mainstream and making music for your peers. Mm. I mean, I played Tenasu a few weeks ago to a homie I just met, you know, and I'm like, bro, I know you don't know Hashwan, but mm. trust me. Just press mm. play, and you'll tell me if I'm wilding, mm. right? This guy called me back an hour later. He's like, yo! Mm. <laughs> like, let me tell you something. You're not making music for these people. You're mm. making music for your peers. Yeah. Like, yeah. we hear what you're talking mm. about, right? And I'm like, that's what's up. Yeah, and I, I think that's that's dope because... Um, it's It'll last. Yeah. You know, no matter when people eventually get to hear it, because the issue is... People just need to you need to find the you need to find the the, the listeners. Yeah. Once you find the listeners and they hear the music, it's dope. But the challenge is <coughs> people that I are. I hope it didn't stop the recording. Yeah, Let me just it. check. Okay, so the um, the thing I was thinking about, I was looking, I was thinking about. Okay, so if I'm making music for people who are in my kind of not age group but life experience. Yeah. And I think about how I listen to music compared to how I used to listen to it when I was younger. People who are making music for aren't like sitting at mm. 12 o'clock waiting for the new song to come out and bumping that album first day. They got jobs. They got families. They're busy, yeah. fam. 
They're going to listen to that music when they get around to it. No, Number true. One. Second of all, um, shows and things, they, they got families, fam. Yeah. So you're not going to fill out a whole show with this audience because they've got commitments. So people in the older group have commitments. But then you must also think about it, like, <clears throat> who we calling the older group now? They were young. They were right? young. And the music yeah. we made back then versus now. It's changed. It's changed. Mm. You've, you've grown and your audience grows with you. Mm. I don't think you're going to be, you know, you start off rapping at 20 and you're still rapping at 40. You're speaking to the same audience, yeah. but they also grown. Yeah. True, so the, the conversation changes yeah. over the years, right? I mean, if, if you're going to be catering to 20-year-olds for the rest of your career, that does, it's not sustainable. doesn't... No, it's not sustainable at all. At all. That's how you end up wearing red skinny jeans <laughs> at a club. Only 40 years. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I think it's... um. Yeah, you just have to... Somebody said, make music that you like and you'll be fine. You know, make music 100%. that resonates with you and you'll be all right. And I think a mistake that a lot of people make <coughs> is... They try to just ride the wave, whatever wave it is, which is, which I also realized recently, it's actually about um, paying bills, fam. Yeah. You know, a lot of, we are fortunate enough to be in a position where music is not our main source of income. Mm. And for that reason, we don't have to say, look, whatever we record has to has pop to, off. Yeah. Otherwise, we're not eating that month. Sure. So other artists are in that situation where if their music doesn't blow, they don't eat. Yeah. So that's something that I, I've started to think about when I look at people selling out and going from making hip hop to just, piano. Just get a job, man. <laughs> <laughs> get a job and keep yeah, rapping. Bro. Yeah, like, no, I mean, I don't know. I would, I, I could never do it, but I understand it now. Yeah. That, you know, people got paid bills to pay for them. Not true. True. So that's that. Tough, tough space, man. But yeah, I'm glad we're doing what we're doing. I mean, how many, how many artists do you know who were rapping? They were dope. They were actually on that upper trajectory, and then they just quit, fam. Because it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. I can't I pay mean, school fees with this. Where's Optical Illusion? Those guys had bars. Yeah, man. Optical Ill had bars. You know, there's a lot of MCs that came up over time, but like, I think now. You know, you grow older, there's bills to pay. There's you move into pay. the business side of music. Like, sometimes being in front of the camera um, isn't feasible because mm. you spend a lot more than, you know. I think Mr. Salvin, Kimuruti, you know. Is it? Yeah, I can't. I, I could be wrong, but I think <laughs> Kimuruti or you pulled a mace. Like, you know what I mean? Sheesh, yeah. I would love to know where, what all the heads are doing. Like... Yeah. Mr. Salvin is a good example. I mean, the emphatic tabs. Yeah. Uh, I, wonder, I wonder what they're doing. I actually wonder what they're doing. We should. Somebody should do like a... Research. A, a research documentary. Like a mini really doki. You know where, I mean? where, where the, the yeah. old heads are at. Yeah. What are they doing? You know. Like a, a, a hip-hop version of... Not I blew it, but... <laughs> where, where are we now? <laughs> My bad. Oh, come on! <laughs> No, bro, you white. Oh man, where are they now? <laughs> I, I, I meet it with the kindest heart, bro. Like shit. Oh my days. No okay. <laughs> where you at? No, no, no. Yeah, just where, where, you know, where, where those where guys are. It would be nice to know, cause some of them are still in the spotlight, but in the background. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, oh, nah. Shout out to Lemonka. Yo, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. Blame Lemonka. Oh, I blew oh. it. Wow, 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 Damn. wow. Damn. All right, well. Oh, funny story. Yeah. I'm the guy on I, I blew it. I'm and tired of you niggas calling me about that opening sequence. Oh, I'm glad. I blew it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that rap section yeah. that I lost it all now I gotta start from scratch that's me son <laughs> no wonder no wonder I've been getting calls all the time like yo man is, is that, that you? 
I'm saying, <laughs> damn. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, so don't call me about it no more. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. What would you do if you won that, that, that money? If I won money? That, if you won the lotto. <sighs> what, what, what would you do? Let's I'm, say, I'm let's a, say, I'm let's say, let's keep it, let's keep it re- realistic. Because, I mean, normally, the, 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 I get the jackpot, I give my maybe 10 million, you get three winners. Sure. You split it, so that's what? Three and a half, 3.3 million. What are you doing with them? After tax. And then tax is taking yeah, a, good a good chunk of that. So let's say you got like two milli left. Yeah. What are you doing with that? Yeah, I'm going on a hiatus. I'm going to keep my job for like a month or two. Keep that guy. But yeah, I'm, I'll change. <laughs> I'll change. So I got to change up. I love Karri. You know, but I'm gonna keep it humble. I'm not gonna be that guy flashy and shit, but don't change. You're just gonna see in the way I walk, like this nigga, there's something different. <laughs> something different, though. I saw, I saw a meme the other day. <laughs> First thing I'm doing is taking one long bath to <laughs> wash the poverty <laughs> Wash away the poverty, oh fam. Dude, I don't think I would even like change anything. I would pay all everybody's debts who I love. So everybody who's got a house, let's not pay it off, pay off their houses, pay off my house, pay sure. off. Just pay off everybody's debts. And then whatever's left, let's keep it in the bank for that big for the big investment. Sure. I'd I think I'd like set up a proper Top notch studio, bro. First things first. Mm. Like a studio with everything. Mm. With everything. But, now, that, cost but, me a good, but doesn't generate but, income. It's just going to be an expense. Nah, but bro. still, bro. Like, you're now not spending money on making sure your music sounds right. Just invest in all the shit that you need. So yeah. that I'll talk a producer. I'll ask our channel. Hey, get talk a, hey. Just come yeah. to the studio, bro. Everything you need is there. The camera. The Oh yeah. Yonkin. Yeah, actually gay. Yeah. Yes. I mean we're we're gay. living in a content era right mm. now. So if you're not um self sufficient, if you gotta hire and pay and spend money to get shit done, it's it's it's, it's a problem. It's, it's a, a problem. problem. That's so, why things take long to happen. In yeah. fact, actually. You know what if I mean? you think about Tenasu, um Dude, that, that album is a classic, fam. Even when I listen to it now, I'm like, Ish, you know, we really should have done a better job marketing that album. Slave. But Corona came, and, you know, there was everything no... Went everything went out the window. Everything went out the window. Went you know, everything that we had planned went out the window. <coughs> and I still feel like, dude, we, we didn't we did shoot a single mu- music video. Only Piliame. Piliame, yeah. You know, music video. And people love that people song. Love. Guys, please stop. It's now. It <laughs> We're not going to perform Yo, it. that song. Yo. The first night when we recorded it, right? Um, last sent, I think I stayed up until five listening to that song. That song took what a day. It took a day. It took a day to do that song, and I was like, "Okay, we are now those nights. <laughs> we are those niggas now. <laughs> now we make hits now." Mm. Yeah, bro. We make hits. Yo, that feeling was crazy. How the turnaround time on that song and how fire. Dog, it, it, it was one session and the song was done. That was fire. Mixed that same night. Mixed that same night. The song came out ready. Shot the video two weeks later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That was a. Uh, um, Monka wanted us to do something for Motoko Tape 2. And he's like, hey, we need a joint. Did we even have a hook? We didn't have anything. We did it. I I came up with the hook after the session. After the session. Yeah. Oh, bruh. Yeah. So I I'm think like, while I was mixing, mm. I was like, I remember I, I went to take a bath, take a break and shit, and I was singing some shit in, in the shower. In shower. I was like, yo, <laughs> dry off quick. Record. No, no, no. That, that shit slapped. That shit slapped, that shit slapped. fam. And, um, but now it's funny how your own song, which fans love, yeah, it got what like Fast, yo, fast. I had to play to that song. Eh? Fast, bro. I don't know if it's because we played it too much. 
before it came out. Like we, we played it too song. much too yeah. soon. We play, that's why I like even the stuff we're working on I'm trying not to play not it. to play it right because I don't want to get sick of it because yeah. by the time we have to perform it and it gets out and people start liking the music you're like nah you don't want to be sick of it I mean now I only play it when I have to mix yeah outside of that you know obviously I have to go back and reference mixes mm. but even then still sometimes I, I get so into the song I'm like oh, yeah stop stop stop, 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 stop. now you know? same here bro same you here know? Like, if I play a song three times back to back, I know it. I'm in danger. Let me cut myself off. There are yeah. some songs in that album. My gosh, they are very infectious. Yeah, I know. It's going down. It's going, it's down. going down. It's time going off. down. By the we'll, we'll tell you more about that soon. Coming, so. coming soon. Coming Stay soon. patient. Yeah. You know.